Welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create these brushes or brush strokes in DaVinci Resolve. First of all, go ahead and create a new Fusion composition. Now let's add in a background. Now go ahead and create another background and this time also add a rectangle and connect it with the background. And set the color of the background to this. Hit OK. And now let's connect it with our original background. So here we have a shape. Now let's go ahead and add a displace. So press Control Space and search for displace. So just go ahead and add this. And connect this with your merge node. And also go ahead and search for fast noise. And connect this with this displace. Now go over in fast noise and over here. Go ahead and change the detail to 8.98. Now go ahead and set the contrast to 5. And set the brightness to minus 1. Now uncheck this Y and X axis. And set your X scale to 0. And set your Y scale to 20. Now go ahead and add this transform with this displace node and set the angle to 5.2. And now what you can do is go over to your background and set the alpha to 0. Now let's go ahead and add another rectangle over here. Let's move this and attach this rectangle with this merge 1. So this will act as a mask. And now what you can do is go over at 20. Set a keyframe in merge at the center and go over at zero. And here you can simply move this and you will see that you will get a animation effect. Let's also go over to spline and select the merge. Select these keyframes, hit S on your keyboard. And you can also press Ctrl T and set the ease into 48. And your E is out 45. So now let's see how this looks. And here you can see we have a brush stroke effect done. Now what you can do is you can add any text over here. So here we have our text. Let's go over to our main timeline. And you can add this solid from these generators. You can add a solid color over here. And you can set the color to white. And then simply drag your composition. And if you go ahead and play this. Here you can see we have our animation done. We have a brush stroke behind our text. And of course you can remove this text from the composition. And use it for any other text. So for example let's go back into brushes. Let's remove this. Go over to our main timeline. And you can add a text over here. Let's remove this and add this again. Let's play this now. So here you can see we have our brush effect working behind this text as well. So I hope you liked the video. Let me know your feedback in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.